Okay, so I suggest grabbing a snack, grabbing a drink, some mulled wine, something festive, tis the season. I just want to sit down today and play with some new makeup, but I'm wanting to do something like quite festive as well on the eyes, but kind of keeping it more glam. I'm thinking of doing something kind of like antique goldy greeny or something because I was going through my pigments and glitters and everything and I came across the uh, Be Perfect Cosmetics pigments in Komodo and Heaven but then I also have the Makeup Addiction glitter pigments in Gossamer <laughs> and Oppressionist so I think I'm actually going to like end up mixing the four of these pigments together to kind of make a bit of a concoction um but i have new pat mcgrath makeup to try p louise adore beauty trigwell oh and i'm also gonna be trying the new p louise palette as well i think i'm gonna take union i'm just gonna do a trench trench it transition and i'm just gonna pop this just within the crease He's now with the draw by nine. I'm now going to take Sweetheart, which is more of like a dark, dark brown. I'm taking it on this wee brush from Colourpop. This is the E29 brush. It's perfect for creating like these types of looks here, especially if you're just packing on shadow. Taking a wee Pay Louise blender brush and a wee bit of that Sweetheart shade. I'm now going to start and kind of blend that out a wee bit. What the hell? What? <laughs> what is going on? I really don't want to have to do this. <sighs> I'm gonna have to start again. Second time lucky. I didn't put any transition on and I noticed that the shade was actually packing on better. Um, I'm gonna take another wee fluffy brush. And I'm gonna take this one. Handsome. I'm just going to be popping this just kind of within the crease, just at the outer corner first of all, also kind of winging it out. I'm also going to bring a wee bit of that shade into the inner corner as well, just to kind of give it a wee bit of depth and definition because I'm obviously going to be applying a pigment here somewhere, so I obviously want a wee bit of something kind of peeking through the pigment. I'm going to go into Flower Girl shit here i don't know about anybody else you know but this is like the first year where i have felt nothing for christmas I, this is like the least christmas christmas say christmas <laughs> ever and i feel like that's um why i have completely forgot that christmas actually was even happening i mentioned this in yesterday's video that i didn't realize that christmas was next week I thought I at least had another three weeks left. Like, I know what planet am I actually on. So I think from now until Christmas, I'm actually going to be uploading every single day. <laughs> because I have so many Christmas tutorials planned for you. And as I say, I thought I had so long to do them all, but clearly not. So I think I'm gonna be uploading, as I say, every day from now until Christmas, apart from Saturday, obviously. But I just don't feel Christmassy at all. Me and Kyle put the Christmas tree up, well, whenever I say we, I mean, he did. Kyle put the Christmas tree up, I sat and watched. <laughs> um, I sat and watched from afar, giving out orders, you know. <laughs> um, I put the star on. Or did I? Do you know, I don't even think I did. No, I, don't, I didn't even. I helped with the lights. I helped with the lights. Um, we haven't even as much as watched any Christmas movies yet. I, I, I don't know what it is. I just... Like, I have all my Christmas shopping done. And have done for weeks at this point. I think I bought my first Christmas present last April. <laughs> I'm one of these people, you see, that I shop for things throughout the year. Um, it's not a bad thing to like maybe get the hang of or get into. Um, if you're somebody that like always panics for gifts, like throughout the year if I see something that somebody would like, I just buy it. Um, and then you kind of try not to forget where you put it. But this Friday, me and Kyla are actually going to the Christmas markets in Belfast. I think we're going on Friday evening. So I think I'm actually going to film and take you with us. Um, I'm going to film my makeup, outfit, hair, etc. And then I'm actually going to do maybe a wee bit of vlogging and actually bring you with us. So that video, if I film that on Friday, 
that video should be up on Sunday, so keep an eye out for that. We're going with Kyle's older brother and his partner, his girlfriend, so. Um, I just kind of feel like I'm winging this at this point. I don't really know what I'm doing myself. But I'm just trying to like really perfect this blend. It's all blending so much better now. I feel like that was definitely like the wrong thing to do. And I don't know why it was going all patchy there for some reason with the transition all over the lid. But as you can see, like those shadows are actually blending well, well, well. Quite nicely actually, especially like in this upper crease area. Lovely. As I had mentioned, I have four pigments here and I'm going to mix them, but I don't think I need all four. So I think I'm definitely going to mix um, Komodo from Be Perfect Cosmetics and Makeup Addiction Cosmetics in Impressionist. So that's the Makeup Addiction one, which is just like a pure kind of antique gold, but it has reflex of a green in it. Komodo from Be Perfect Cosmetics is... I'll try to open it for you. It's kind of like a dark khaki green. So I'm going to take like the tiniest wee bit of that and then Heaven from Be Perfect Cosmetics is like a white pigment but has reflex of kind of like a goldy green. <sighs> and then another one from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics which I think, I think I might take a wee bit of this one from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics but if you don't have this one you can use Heaven from Be Perfect. Um, because this is actually nearly done and I may as well just use it up. So into a wee pot, I'm going to mix three of these pigments. <laughs> so I have that all mixed up in the lid and that looks beautiful. But instead of using a wee glitter glue that I always use, I'm going to take this from a Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is actually a collection from Stacey Marie, uh, the Carnival Antidote Liquid Shadow in the shade Venom. So I might take a wee bit of this. On the inner corner of the lid and then stick the pigment to this. I'm gonna take a wee fluffy brush, more like a wee flat shader brush actually. I'm just making sure to like really pat that into the crease as well. So it just looks a wee bit somewhat blended and not just kind of plunked on. I'm going to be trying the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. Smooth, hydrate and prep the skin for a soft focus blurred effect. Blah, 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 blah. So I've obviously opened it and I've gave it a wee bit of a swatch and everything and I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this. I'm going to pump a couple of dollops just on the back of my hand. Now I'm not the biggest fan on like silicone, dimethicone based primers. Not for any particular reason, I just feel like I don't necessarily need to do anything with my pores. I don't really care to be honest and I also just don't like that feel like the feel of a, like a silicone based primer um this does somewhat kind of feel a wee bit silicone based but a wee bit lighter in texture like it definitely does make your face feel quite smooth the way those poor filling primers would but maybe a wee bit more hydrating which is nice um I feel like this, I feel like this isn't the best day to actually be trying a primer for the first time. <laughs> Whenever my face looks like tiger bread and I have glitter all over it. I've tried so hard to get all that pigment off my face and it just it ain't working, mate. So um yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to give it another go at some stage. It just ain't working today. But yeah, it's it's nice, it's an alright type of primer, but I'm wanting to use it today mainly because I want to try the foundation now. Um 
I got the shade light medium 14 and I'm just kind of hoping that this matches me. Okay, so it sounds quite liquidy. I just like the primer. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Foundation. Like, this is the packaging of the foundation. I love it. Frosted glass bottle. I love the gold accent detail of the wee nice lid. Kind of reminds me of Tom Ford. Comes with the pump. Yes. Uh, one pump. Ooh. Okay, I think that colour might be okay. Wow, this is actually very much like a serum foundation. Does that what it claims to be? If you're a frequent watcher of my channel, you would know that I am cake face. <laughs> I'm definitely like cake batter. I love my cake face, my full coverage foundation. And I feel like I'm not gonna get that from this, but I'm just gonna get like a really nice skin-like veil of foundation of my skin and it's just gonna even out my skin provide like a really nice natural coverage I'm expecting to be able to build it up I for it just to look quite skin like and I feel like that's what I'm getting so far that colour is looking good I'm not mad I think definitely on camera it is washing me out a wee bit more but definitely in person I'm looking good and once we conceal cream bronze it'll be all good but yeah not too sure on the primer but yeah I really like that foundation and I'm going to continue to use it just kind of see how I really do get on with it um, because sometimes especially with um complexion products you can't really go off like first impressions too much because you don't know how it's going to wear throughout the day you don't know how it's going to wear with other products or whatever but oh well so concealer at this point i feel like i'm actually i think from now until christmas i'm not even going to mention what concealer i'm going to be using because it's always going to be the hmb soft brush soft soft focus airbrush concealer fuck me <laughs> um because there's like barely anything left in this i'm scraping it out and i'm just gonna try and use it up so it's just what i'm gonna be using from now until new year oh my god yeah i'm really impressed with that foundation actually what no <laughs> i'm like so happy at the same time and then i'm like shit <laughs> i have put far too much concealer on cream bronzer i'm gonna try the new cream bronzer from uh brand is this doll beauty so i think i said in my haul that this might be a wee bit too light but we'll not speak too much we'll see what it looks like whenever it's all blended you can definitely see it but i think we all know what i'm like i always like to go ham with my products don't i i'm just using this refined double ended uh brush to apply and blend this out by the way it's really good. Tried it for the first time yesterday. Yeah, I think that's going to be a wee bit too pale for me. I think it'd be great on days where I'm not fake tanned. I think that'll be like a great wee shade. But like you can barely see that on my forehead. Um, I'm going to take the Refai cream bronzer i was using it yesterday so uh, this is in the shade tan i'm going to kind of give you a bit of a comparison between the two of them like uh, yeah i suppose you can see like the difference between the two of them but like that's just yeah a wee bit too light for me um so i'm going to take this one this is in the shade tan So I'm just going to apply just a wee bit of this. Ooh, yeah. It's like, you know that step? It's maybe a different step for everybody in their makeup routine where it's once you apply or do that step, you can finally see your makeup come together. <laughs> for me, it's cream bronzer. <laughs> I have, of course, all the new cream blushes from P. Louise. What one will we use? <laughs> this shade here is definitely no. Um, strawberry Sunrise. This one is a Bomb Bomb Baby. A wee bit too pale pink for me. 
This one's a maybe, peach of my heart. Okay, we'll put that to a maybe pile. This one's quite nice as well, actually. Sunkiss Myths. This one is Tutti Frutti. I think that one's a wee bit too peel. And then this one is Apricot Smoothie. Again, I think maybe a wee bit too peel. So in between Sunkiss, so some, hmm, Sunkiss Myths and Peach of My Heart. They're kind of similar though, aren't they? So I don't, I don't really think it matters. Uh, Peach of My Heart. I quite like these though. I like that they come with like that spongy foam tip applicator. It's quite different actually. I think if we were maybe a makeup artist, this is a wee bit unhygienic for you. But I think it was a Mel I was watching on TikTok earlier on her TikTok live. She had actually took it off just like so and you're able to apply it like that. But I'm going to just wait see I've broke it. <laughs> Come on, you fecker. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep it on because I'm just applying it to my face. You can see it come on. Oh, look. <sighs> okay, that'll do us, that'll do us. Oh, God. Okay, that'll, that'll do us. That'll do, that'll do. <laughs> I've actually seen somebody using these on the lips as well, not too sure what colour they had used. Wow, that's nice though. That has blended out super easy. And see at the minute you can get a bundle of these on TikTok shop. They have a load of different bundles and it honestly worked out so much cheaper than buying them separately or even individually um, for £16. I'm going to be a wee bit wild and take a wee bit more mainly because of the fact that I've actually squeezed so much out so yeah give you a wee bit of a close up of my base so far like butter bitches <laughs> I also have the blurred lights from Made by Mitchell I still haven't got any word back from their customer service by the way I'm pissed <laughs> I am pissed um, I have champagne spray and candle trip but I'm gonna put these to the test and I'm gonna set my face and do that after. Refi, what is this? This is the Skin Finish Water Base Powder. And then I'm going to try this wee powder. This is the Beaming Glow Illuminating Powder in the shade Fairy Dust from Sigma. Hold on, I'm going to put a bit of this on the back of my hand, just kind of see what it's like first of all. So I just took a wee dusting of it there. Oh yeah, you can see, can't you? You can see just like a nice wee glow. Ooh. Um, hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I don't actually know where I left off <laughs> because my battery completely died and I had to go and charge it. So while it was actually charging, I had some lunch and I also done my lashes and my lower lash line. I just used um, whatever colors I used on the lid just on my lower lash line and they be perfect potted gel liner in the shade Blackout. Just my waterline. So I said I was going to use the Made by Mitchell Blurst Lights um, as highlight. Champagne spray and candy drip. I'm actually going to mix these and see what they look like mixed. So I'm going to take a wee bit of candy drip. Whoa, that's really watery. Okay. I'm going to take more of champagne spray and just mix the two of them. Beautiful. <laughs> oh God, another day, another liquid freaking highlight. <laughs> oh dear.
do I want to say it so soon? I actually prefer this to the Refi liquid highlight that I tried in yesterday's tutorial, if you've seen it. Um, I'm actually going to apply a wee bit of powder blush as well. I have these three Trigwell Cosmetics blushes here to try. Um, no. Maybe. Hmm. And then this one. I was maybe thinking this one. This one here. I'll go for this one. These don't have any shade names by the way. Well, not that I know of, but I'll obviously have them all linked down below for you. Or just, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh dear. I'm just going to take the tiniest wee bit of this blush. I know I'm definitely a blush kind of gal these days, but I still don't like a lot. This is a new bronzer from a brand I've actually never even heard before. I got this on Beauty Bay. It's by the brand Grey's and it's the Bronze Fish. <laughs> uh, bronzer in Poppin Portugal. I love that shade name actually, Poppin Portugal. <laughs> so, looks like a pretty good colour actually. Yeah, looks like a really, really nice, like nice warm toned bronzer. I really really like that colour actually, it's beautiful, it's just like the perfect like warm bronzer to bronze up my skin, Jesus. The formula of it, great, as you can see it's blending out beautifully, as you can see as I'm still applying more bronzer, I'm quite heavy handed and it's not going patchy or anything. Oh yes, look how good that looks. Really nice colour, really nice formula, building up beautifully, it's not patchy. I'm going to be trying the Doll Beauty lip liners for the first time ever. <laughs> um, this is in the shade Around the World. I've been sitting here for that long, my back is so sore. Ugh. It doesn't help also the fact that I'm sitting on a kid's chair from Ikea, <laughs> that my my ass, <laughs> my big fat ass and my hips can literally just about fit in. I swear to God. For my lips, I'm taking the Desi and Katie collab from Just Colours, so just this wee lipstick. I know it is discontinued and I apologise, but I'm going to be using something else here in a minute. I want to use one of the P. Louise lip bases. <coughs> um, can't resist. I'm going to take the tiniest wee bit of this. Okay guys, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I absolutely love this pigment. I'm going to zoom this in for the final last bit of goodness. <laughs> How nice is that? Isn't that beautiful? That is just perfect. It's exactly what I was wanting. Something just really nice, an antique gold, a wee shift of like green in there. Not too much more leaning on the gold side, but yeah, love it. Perfect. I kind of feel like it's not, it's not really Christmassy. I feel like you could do this makeup look any time of year, but I don't know, it's still kind of like a nice wee Christmassy glam, I suppose. I will obviously, of course, have everything listed and linked down below in the description box for you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.